the temperatures. We've dipped down upper 50s into the low 60s here, so this 58 degrees. Let's see who this is from. Our good friends Barbara and Wayne Case Camp in Bel Air. Yes, enjoy the convertible while you can because I would say, yeah, starting pretty soon, it's just going to be too chilly for that. Our good friend George, the clouds at sunset tonight. Yes. There was a lot of them, wasn't there? And then love these beautiful colors from Stephen Shipley. And yes, Donald Green Jr., it's October, thinking pink for breast cancer awareness. You are on it, Donald. We appreciate that. So a damp start to our Friday, just based on the fact that, yes, we are already seeing some of that rain. I think it's going to stick with us for the majority of the night. But change is on the way. So sunshine by lunchtime, a crisp afternoon with temperatures topping out only in the upper 60s. Remember that we were in the 70s today. So we topped out 74 degrees today. The cold front has moved through and it is getting the job done. A rather chilly night as we look ahead to tomorrow night. So, temperatures here 60 BWI. Many of us were down in the upper 50s here and the dew points mid to upper 50s. There's the rain, yes, that we are seeing move across mid sections of the state, including Baltimore. Most of this rain is on the light side. I don't think we're going to pick up a whole lot as far as accumulation. A half inch, maybe less. A couple of spots may see a tad more than that. There's the front to the east of us, but nearly stationary at this point, just kind of draped across uh, the eastern shore. As we run the future cast, we don't ditch the rain until tomorrow morning. I would say sometime between 4 to 6 a.m. is when we'll start to see that rain tapering. And then the clouds, though, those get out of here in the late morning into early afternoon hours. We're going to end up seeing a nice dose of sunshine by tomorrow afternoon, and then it sticks with us all weekend long. Tonight, we're going to dip down into the mid 50s as we look ahead to tomorrow. So, I mentioned upper 60s, those are the highs. So, that cooler, crisper air settling in. Have to show you our seven day forecast because don't we love it when sunshine lands right over the weekend? And that is going to be the case. So, feeling like fall, but looking very bright out there. So, that is certainly some good news. Vic, Rick, back to you.